Yo, yo, what's up, Team Handsome Guy? It's your boy, Ryan, again, back with another YouTube video. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about streetwear, and specifically how to smarten up streetwear, or in a nutshell, how to make it a little more dressier, and how to make it a little more refined, and a little more age appropriate. As you uh, you know grow older, your style is going to evolve, and you're not gonna be able to wear a lot of the things that you see the younger generation wearing. So, with the streetwear culture, there's a lot of things that I would change, but I like what the streetwear culture right now represents. I like the ripped jeans, I like the long tees, I like the, you know, the, the distressing and all that. I think it's awesome, and I think it like gives, you, gives your outfits that like, fuck you, that high, you know, F the man vibe. Like, it's just cool, it's rugged, it's bad boy, and I like it, but certain things that they wear and how they wear it, I cannot wear as I'm a 33-year-old man with a daughter. So, I have to take these things into consideration, and I think a lot of you guys, as you grow older, start, will start doing that as well. So, let me tell you how to take the current streetwear trends and smarten them up, or whatever they wanna call it. So, first things first, before I move on, I wanted to give a shout out to the, the guy's pictures that I'm using to represent the uh, streetwear culture. There's actually a gentleman named Harrison Neville. He's got a really good YouTube channel um, catering to this streetwear look and this streetwear culture. I think you should check him out. Um, he's awesome. And if you do check him out, drop him a comment and say you came from me. That way he knows that I'm you know, giving him a shout out. Um, yeah, so let's move on. So the first thing you want to do, um, the current trend in the streetwear world is to wear the high distress jeans with the um, vans, the fear of God vans, the Yeezys, the, you know, the Nike, uh, freeze, but those are kind of moving out, but it's more sticking to like just vans and Yeezys. So I like to smarten it up and the easy way to do it is just, I wear it with, um, dressier shoes, mainly being wingtip boots, cap toe boots. And as you see the outfit that I'm wearing, I'm wearing my, uh, JC Penny Stafford, uh, Deacon boots. I've been talking about these a lot. They're a $50 boot. They're amazing. And like I said, it just creates a, a better looking overall aesthetic. And I think the wingtip boot leads into the zipper denim pants, which you can see both of us are wearing in, in you know, my video versus his pick, as well as my jeans are a little less distressed than the, having the knees blown out. And I think that's another small way you can do it because yes, the distressing is cool, but in some cases it can be too much and it looks too, I don't, I hate to use the word homeless, but it looks too rugged. It looks too, you know, unkept. So I like to keep a little more kept and have it a little less distressed. So the jeans I'm wearing are from the brand called Hyper Denim and actually Harrison, he talks about Hyper Denim a lot. They make a lot of different styles and they're a really good company. And I just wanna point out that I'm not sponsored anyway by Hyper Denim, although I wish they would. Um, moving on, so once you have the shoes into the pants, the next way that you can do it is you can avoid all logos and vintage band tees and things of that nature. And wear just monochrome tees, logoless tees, um, all things you wanna stick with the longer tee look. And another good way is to size down and not do the oversized look like you see Harrison wearing. Just kind of make it a little more slimmer fit, a little tighter. It's gonna add to your overall aesthetic and keep it a little more smart looking. Um, that's not saying, like I said, I like that look, the oversized. It's just, I wanna keep everything nice and streamlined. All right, and the next main thing that you can do is your outerwear. And I like to use what they call smart outerwear, mainly just a, a couple different things. Um, three different options that I, that I choose, and that is, the slim fit hoodie, you notice I said slim because you want to keep this the aesthetic, a slim denim or wax denim jacket, usually in black, because once again, it keeps that slim, that smarter um, aesthetic, or the jacket like you see me wearing in these videos is, is the wax denim, or I also have a track style jacket, which I picked up from H&M, which I don't really know where you can buy it from or one similar, but you can find these types of jackets, you just gotta look for them. But all the options that I'm wearing, they just kind of create a slimmer aesthetic, more of a monochrome look, which aids to it looking a little more smart. But yeah, so that's just a couple ways that I would smarten up streetwear and things that I like to put in you know, my day-to-day -day attire so I can keep that rugged, edgy, fuck you streetwear vibe that you know shows that I'm like a you know a badass. I'm an entrepreneur. I do what I want. I you know I'm a creative thinker. I love that the streetwear represents that that type of thing. But at some point, you also have to grow up a little bit and wear a little more smarter attire. So yeah, that's gonna wrap this video up. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. If there's any other ways you've seen people combining streetwear and you know classic menswear pieces and things of that nature. Like I talked about in my 2017 uh, prediction video, I think you're gonna see a lot more of the merging between the two. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a like and a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Yo, one more thing if you haven't yet, go on and click the link below this video and check out my private Facebook group. Um, it's free to join and it's a like-minded individuals like you and myself all in there about you know style, dressing well, meet, um, 
attracting women, um, getting higher paying jobs, basically all kinds of things that encompass a handsome individual like yourself and an ambitious one as well. So go ahead and check it out. Like I said, it's free to join. There's almost 7,000 members in there now. And yeah, I'd love to have you.